All right, let's keep talking here. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. <laughs> you bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our, Our parents? parents? <laughs> oh, no. Now what? <laughs> oh, no. Nice cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of our bones. You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. Oh, boy. All right, so he threw that little hammer. Here it is. <clears throat> what the hell? Look at this thing. A tiny little hammer. What am I going to use this on? <laughs> Look at it! This is the tiniest <clears throat> little hammer I've ever seen. That's all I have. That on the side, right? Okay. Well, we're going to have to figure out something to use the hammer on. Ah, so we went the other way. Okay. Let's go back this way now. <clears throat> hmm. And then I can select here. Let's go back to this room. Ah! Oh, look, <clears throat> it's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? Okay, what the heck? I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. <clears throat> hmm. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. Uh, you have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> me? About what? Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Huh. <clears throat> Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Interesting. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why you locked them up. Then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. <laughs> oh, of course, she was lost. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. <laughs> so why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Hmm. Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. <laughs> Come on. We're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? What the... Yeah, I'm not after commission. I want to get us out of here. After any commission? I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? What the? Can't believe you think he's my boss, my arch enemy. You think he's <laughs> my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? <laughs> I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that, but I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. My what? I don't have a gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. <laughs> I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, nah. why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Oh, I got save your breath achievement for talking to her and having that sequence, huh? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when All you're right. willing to deal straight with me, okay? All right, so they want me to get a gun and give it to her, apparently. That's kind of weird. <sighs> Ow! 
Oh shit, she burned her leg. Oh, my stockings. That ruined. What the hell happened? Whoa. She's taking her stockings off. This was completely random. I just trying to see if it would do anything. She threw her stockings you away. One nice thing on this cruel island. Huh. Grab them. Go grab the stockings. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, man, <gasps> but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. What the hell? You know, a little clear nail polish would fix these right up. Clear nail polish would fix up her, her stockings? What the heck? We gotta use the stockings for something. Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. Oh, I actually did go in here. Anything else here? Just this, just him. He seems completely unaware of how close I am to escape. Domino. Domino! <laughs> Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Issy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss, Hector, that way... You killed my best friend. The demon? <sighs> Manny. You can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. What a bigot. <laughs> How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. Hmm. I'm taking Meche out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, she spent a year out there in a petrified forest alone because of you. Alone? By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon. Wouldn't you say? Why don't you just sprout me like you tried a Puerto Zapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. What a creep. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work, take it for me. And huh. think about it. <clears throat> Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. And? What's wrong with that? Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. Oh, okay. I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns. I have all the transportation, and I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> what are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know, I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. Hmm. You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Yeah, just to make oh, light no, bulbs. That's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double end tickets. Now can't. Ah, this is what it was. The whole thing was a racket to steal their tickets. You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? <laughs> Capal would root all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the pearl. Ah. I knew it. You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod, which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. Hmm. So it wasn't my fault Mechi didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away. But I fixed that. One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. We never touch the product ourselves. <laughs> he talks about it like it's drugs. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. <laughs> <clears throat> but you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. 
Why would we want to leave? Huh. Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Well... I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out? He just he got another achievement for that. I've got nothing to say to him. Alright, there's nothing further to say, and I don't think there's anything I can do. I don't think giving him anything, like the little hammer or the pantyhose is gonna affect anything, so... Alright, so it was just an optional conversation, I guess. <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe we go back to the. So, do you have an appointment? Oh, I'm on the wrong um, way. I hugs you and I work for. Well, all right, enough of that. I did it by accident. There's a door that's locked. I can't do that yet. What's back at the entrance? Let's find out.